Bill Royce. Uh, I've been with the Leica Society uh, almost 10 years, uh, and joining the Leica Society has allowed me to expand my uh, interest and skills in the use of the Leica and also the um, use of Lightroom. And uh, three years ago, I did get uh, qualified as a Adobe certified expert in Lightroom. When you first import an image into the library in Lightroom, you want to keyword the uh, image so that uh, you can retrieve it later. And an example of a keyword might be you take, you take a, go to a car show and take pictures of all these exotic cars. Uh, so the keyword is car. That would be maybe a top level keyword. And you can nest uh, individual brands of car underneath that uh, keyword car so that if you enter a, um, a Ferrari as one of your keywords, then the uh, uh, Ferrari automatically is assigned a, as a nested keyword under car. You also want to learn how to use keyword searches and what essentially the Lightroom provides is a search um, function which is very powerful in that you can specify almost any search criteria to find uh, a particular image. Okay, and my tip number two is all about using the map module in Lightroom to uh, both assign locations, map locations, and also retrieve pictures by map location uh, within Lightroom. And the map module will actually show you precisely where the um, image was taken on a Google map. It's a very useful feature because it's now searchable as a image from the, that location and it saves you the trouble of keywording location names and, and so it's a, it's a big time saver. Your library contains uh, so many images uh, and let's say you want to do a project and a project might be a slideshow or it might be a book or it might be a collection of pictures that you want to upload to the internet. And so what a collection allows you to do without duplicating the picture itself or the image itself is to uh, create a, uh, a collection of pictures that you uh, select to be in that collection but are really just pointers to your individual uh, originals that are in your library. And when you do that, you can edit them from within the collection and, and modify and reorder the pictures. And then when you're ready to, let's say, create a slideshow, you start from the uh, picture of the, the library collection and you, and you transition directly to a slideshow and the pictures that you've added to the collection end up uh, playable in your slideshow or included in your book uh, is another very good example. Preset allows you to automate a set of, of uh, edit commands so that each time, for example, you import pictures, if you ask it to do the preset during the import, then a lot of routine work that you might do for noise control, uh, handling highlights or shadows, uh, white point, all these routine things that you might do on every image end up getting applied to the image automatically. And then when you want to fine tune the image um, and complete the edit process, all you have to do is make modifications to the preset uh, uh, controls that were, were put in place by the preset. How do you make them come alive with Lightroom? Uh, the first one, obviously, would be uh, 
uh, adding uh, clarity in the, in the presence panel in the uh, develop module. And clarity uh, changes the mid-tone contrast of an image and essentially adds some uh, pop to the mid-tones in your image. Then you pay attention to the highest and lowest tones and make sure that you improve the, uh, increase the highlights and increase the shadows to the point where your image is really showing a full range of tones. The next control that I use is vibrance and saturation. Vibrance in Lightroom allows you to selectively increase the saturation of the lesser saturated tones in a picture. And it has a low effect on skin tones, which means that if you have a portrait and you want the clothes perhaps or other uh, items in the picture to pop a little bit more, you can use the vibrance without significantly changing the skin tones. The last part that I think is important to uh, know is uh, in the CC version or Creative Cloud version of, of Lightroom, there's a control called Dehaze, <clears throat> which is sort of a magic one-stop slide Dehaze to the right, and it basically creates a lot of nice color and contrast to an image uh, without uh, doing a whole lot of detail work uh, to make that happen. It takes some personal discipline to uh, use uh, the Lightroom uh, library properly, but once you get past uh, understanding how the library works, then the next phase, which is learning how to do the development process or photo editing, is very intuitive and fairly easy to learn.